Okay, so I, after playing around with the script that I suggested you use, I've discovered that if you want to uh, preface your projects with a uh, identifier such as a number, we can use this script to search just for the number, and that way you don't even have to go in and edit the macro at any time. So as you can see, I've set up uh, three copies of this. Uh, one is with uh, command 1, and that will search for projects that begin with the number 01. And then I've also created one called focus 2, which is command 2. And the same thing, it searches for 0, 02 and uh, focus 3. And of course, you can make as many of these as you want, uh, as many uh, keyboard shortcuts as you'd like to make. So as you can see, I have here three example projects. And I have, obviously, you can put other numbers in there. This is going to be looking for the 0, 01 when it searches for that. Um, if you prefer, you could use other characters or other identifiers, but this this seemed to make the most sense because all you'd have to do is you know give the 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, 0, 04 as the uh, uh, title of your projects, and then you wouldn't even have to open up Keyboard Maestro to, to change the macros. And this is what it looks like in action. So if I hit Command-1, you can see it focuses in on that project. If I hit Command-2, it focuses in on, on the second project. And if I hit Command-3, it focuses in on the third project. And this will go back and forth between those projects very quickly, very fast. Um, and it doesn't really matter where the identifier is. So, for example, if I don't want to put uh, 0, 02 at the beginning, um, you could, for example, put 0, 02 at the end, and it still will work. So you can see, oh, it's just basically searching the project title for a particular ch uh, chain of uh, letters. And if you don't like uh, identifying these with particular uh, numbers, you could use anything you want. Or again, you could go in and put put the actual title in the macro, but that would require that you edit the macros when you change your project titles. All right, hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, good luck with your projects.